Good morning, sunshines. Super stable today. Wow. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm just holding my phone. Usually I set it on something. Not today, guys. Not today. House full of people for President's Day. So first of all, happy President's Day. It's amazing, right? I'm almost like using this one hand, you guys. It's super awesome. Whoa, cool. Uh, morning, Rebecca. How are you? Happy President's Day to you. <laughs> morning, Vicky Toria. Man, I forgot to tag any people again, but y'all are here. You're ready to rock. Good morning, Caitlin. How are you, girl? Uh, guys, Caitlin, you should go to take Peyton to the club today because they're having the like, huge pajama party rock star fun this morning. Morning, Chris. How's it going? You guys are like, we're off work, so we're actually on here this morning. Uh, drop your good morning sunshine in, right, uh, when you jump on because we actively participate because sharing is caring, actually because we grow from sharing, pretty much. Um, first time watching, you put a one in. If it's a rewatch, write rewatch. That way I can kind of keep track of what you guys are doing and what's helping, what's not. Guys, we've been doing our miracle morning. Um, no, I came back up to bed, Vic, because I have a house full of people. I've got like all my cut, like all the cousins stay the night for President's Day, and it's loud down there, so I'm like hiding out. Can you guys tell? So yes, the answer is yes. I am still in bed, but that's because I intentionally came back up here after I got ready. Oh my God, morning, Tim. This is funny though because I say take it out of the bedroom, and then this is I'm in the bedroom doing that. That's funny, right? Uh, you guys are all good morning, sun shining, and you're writing your gratitude. Nikki wins a prize today because she already did her good morning sunshine and she did what she's thankful for she's thankful for recent uh, uh recent roads recent roads yeah that's right right uh we were having a barbecue in 70 degree weather yesterday and now we are in a snowy delightful like a beautiful landscape i'm thankful for colorado weather i don't know about you guys but i love it like morning abriana i love that morning call morning michelle i love the the, the variety that we have. I love that you never know what's gonna happen. So that's what I'm grateful for this morning. You're writing good morning sunshine. If you're a repeat, you're writing a one. If you're new and you're writing what you're thankful for. So we are really practicing the miracle morning together, you guys. You're not practicing it unless you're like actually going through it. So what's something you're thankful for this morning? Write that in and then we'll get to our subject of the day. Um, which is about taking it out of the bedroom whilst I'm in the bedroom. I really wish I could drink a glass of like a sip of my tea right now and I could use this arm over here but I can't so I'm just gonna look at it and pretend like I'm drinking the tea right now right morning to kiss god there's such cool names joining I love this hi friends uh <laughs> sorry that this is like super wobbly today but all right guys so here's the subject of the day I gave you guys a challenge yesterday and um, that was to, you know, we, we're going through the savers. We're going through a miracle morning routine. We're going through setting yourself up powerfully so you can create, um, create a better life, a bigger life, a, a life that's more fulfilled, something that you just, you know, that you wake up and you're just jacked up for. Morning, Stephanie. How are you, girl? And some of you might live that. Some of you might maybe just, you kind of you have your head in the gutter about it. Like, I don't even want to think about that because I'm just not there, right? So how can we start taking control of our life? I love that it's President's Day because I want you guys to be the president of your own life. I was thinking about this, like boss your own day, right? Be the president of your life and um, you know, really take ownership by just making baby changes. So we're making baby changes together on here and we're writing our gratitudes because we know gratitudes change our mind. We also talked about silence. We talked about, um, you know, just, God, I'm just like, so hard to hold it still. Um, we talk about silence so that you can clear your mind so you can let things come in. And yesterday, good job, Katie, you rocked that. I want to go to bar class. Um, so we talked about silence yesterday and I dared you guys. I want to know if anybody took on the dare. I dared you to get off of the screen for whatever amount of time you could. An hour, two hours, eight hours, aka not have your phone with you. Um, not have the like everybody glued to the TV and just see what happens. Did anybody do that yesterday? Like when you, it's it's funny because as I keep doing these different like different like seminars, personal development, um, like clearing of my mind, quieting, you almost find that you have like extra time. It's like you create more hours because you're not filling with bullshit. Like you're not filling with all like the crap that's just around, right? And um, yesterday's is going to lead into today's, and then we'll start to get to our. Um, our affirmations and all that stuff probably starting tomorrow. But um, going into silence a little bit more, that was a dare yesterday. Morning, Frank, what's up, buddy? 
Um, and you know, I took it on. I, I try to take that on on Sundays a little bit more, like I was telling you guys, where people get frustrated because they don't have my phone. Uh, but like, it was playing music, but that was pretty much it. And it was so cool, you guys. We we had a bunch of people over, and we played frisbee golf around the property in the wind. We were gonna do a fire, but like it was so windy, whatever. Like we, we just played games and we were just outside. And there was this one moment where my daughter came up and she hugged me so tight. Like she just wrapped her arms around me and hugged me. She's like, I love you, mom. And she said, I love this. Like it was a really cool feeling to have a 13 year old recognize that she loved just being with people instead of everybody being wrapped up on their phones and everything, right? Uh, and it was, I mean, and that was, that was a cool feeling. So if you haven't tried that it, and I get it, like if you guys are working today, you have to fit it into your day, right? Try it with the family, not just with yourself, but try turning everything off and just being with people and enjoying them and just see what that feels like. And then share with us if you can, right? So guys, we had a, we have a bunch of new people. I don't know what, what's up. Like you guys are all off work today. Y'all are throwing in hearts. You're all watching. I love it. Um, right. Good morning, sunshine. Share something that you're grateful for as I go into the next subject. Uh, you know, sharing that piece is going to help you grow, right? So you guys can see other people that are starting to share. Chris did it for a few hours, was present with a friend. How cool was that, Chris? Was that not, it, it was awesome, right? And like not having somebody, okay, do you guys ever do this? So this is funny. After we talked yesterday, I got on my, I was doing my Mel Robbins. I'm reading, um, listening to the five second rule right now. I listen to books a lot because I'm in the car so much. It's easier than reading sometimes for me. So I was doing Mel's five second rule. And she starts going to the exact subject. She starts going into what technology does to our minds. What, uh, from Michigan, yes, Lori. Uh, you know, she starts going into what that does. And she was saying how, like, you guys know when you're having a conversation with somebody and you want to talk to them and they're like this on the phone the whole time and you're like, dude, like, can you just fake, like, look at me for five minutes? Do you know what I'm saying? And you feel like they're not present with you. You feel like you don't matter. You feel like they care more about what's on the other side of the screen than what you guys are talking about. So getting present with other people, it helps relationship. It's, it's really cool. Today, I want to take that one step further because this is like, we're talking about setting up a powerful morning, right? But you know, setting up your miracle morning. Oh, I love reading your guys' stuff. I get so distracted. It's so cool. So, um, setting up a powerful morning. I'm curious. So we talked about getting off screens yesterday. Where do you guys have your phone at night? Where do you sleep with your phone? Cause most people, I'm going to guess most people have their phone right next to their bed, right? Um, where, because they, they say it's their alarm, like there's not alarm clocks, like there's no such thing as alarm clocks anymore. So this is where their alarm is. Um, and we go to bed and most people have their phone in their hand. They go through Facebook, they go through Instagram, they go through their emails. Um, they fill their minds with other people's lives and with stresses and with, um, whatever that is. And then you go to sleep and that's what's on your mind as you start to get, hit those sleep cycles and then you wake up and what do you do? First thing you grab your phone. And most people lay in bed and they actually start going through it again. Like you wake up right into somebody else's life. You don't take time to think about your life. You wake up right into somebody else's life and you start going through what, what, what's going on out there. Like not what's going on in here. We're not what's going on in here. What's going on out there instead of like evaluating your own selves. And it, I get it. You guys, like it's just habit. Like, I mean, like I'm not saying actually this is where my phone is. I don't get on it cause it's just a habit that I don't have since my concussion. But, um, my kids do. And I guarantee they're on their phone right before and right at the end. And as, as I was listening to this, I was starting to review some things that we do. And, um, you know, all you have to do to change a habit is five, four, three, two, one, say, this is the new habit. We don't sleep with phones in our rooms. What would it, what would it be like if you didn't put your phone in your room at night? How could that set you up for a more powerful day? If you didn't have your phone in your room, number one, you couldn't hit the snooze. We're going to talk about that later though. I don't even want to go into it right now, but number one, you couldn't hit the snooze because it's your alarm's too far away. It's in the bathroom, right? Number two, what if you woke up and instead of jumping into somebody else's life, you jumped into your own life and you laid there. I don't care if you even get out of bed. You just laid there and you thought about a couple things you could do today to set yourself up for a more powerful week, for a more powerful day, for a more powerful life. And just let yourself think for five minutes. That could be your silence, you guys. That could be the easiest way to find your silence. I love the thumbs up. You guys have no idea when you hit the like button, the heart button. Like it's like a Pavlov conditioning. It's, it's so funny. I love it. Okay, but um, what what would it be like to just spend that time with yourself and create one or two things that you're going to do today? I'm gonna um, have a shake instead of a donut for breakfast. 
I'm going to uh, work out today. I'm going to call my mom. I haven't called her for a bit. I'm going to, like, I, I don't know, make it up, right? What are a couple things you could do to make yourself and your life a little bit better before jumping into other people's lives? You guys, that's it. That's what I have for you this morning. Morning, Andrea. If you didn't write good morning, sunshine yet, because there's so many of you new guys on here, write good morning, sunshine. Put a one in if you're new. Uh, write something that you're grateful for because we practice our miracle morning together. So list something that you're grateful for. And then the last piece is, is I have another dare for you. I had one yesterday, which was to remove yourself from screens for a couple hours and be with people. This one is remove the screen from your room. Um, allow yourself, give yourself some peace and quiet, give yourself some time, give yourself a more positive mindset for when you go to bed and when you get up in the morning. That's all you guys. I want to know if it makes a difference. I know that it will. There's scientific research saying it absolutely will, but just me saying it isn't enough. Like you guys have to make that decision for yourself. Do you want for more? If something as simple as deciding when you go to bed tonight, I'm not going to get on my phone and jack on my phone when I, before I go to sleep. And I'm, I'm going to make up every excuse in the book. Well, I have to do this. I have to do this. This is my routine. I have to do this. This is my alarm. Like, I didn't get an alarm clock today. Whatever excuse you make, right? Do that and have nothing change. Or what if making one little cha like change, one little, one little difference, and you just put the phone in a different room actually changes the way you think, changes the way you wake up, changes the way you go to sleep, changes your, pro your productivity. What if? What if? Why not? It's just putting your freaking room in a like phone in a different room. That's it. Yeah? Okay. I'm sorry about the super unstable conditions, um, but this is just the way my, my arm works here. Uh, I love it. I love all of your beliefs, Vic. That is absolutely perfect, um, and I'm totally with you on that. So, uh, guys, try it. See what happens. See if you feel better. See if you feel a little bit more empowered and um, get in your own life instead of in somebody else's for the first few hours of the day. That's when you're most productive. You know, maybe we'll practice more later on, seeing if we can even uh, not get on our phones for a little bit longer. You guys are saying, Kelly, I'm on my phone right now watching you. I know. I get it. Kind of ironic, right? Is that the right word? Anyways. I got a call, con call, got to jump on with some friends of mine. Can't wait to meet up with them. So you guys are amazing. Good morning, sunshines. Go out and enjoy whatever weather you're in. And I'm going to enjoy the Colorado snow. And honestly, I'm going to turn off my phone for a couple more hours and be with the kids and family. So uh, love you all. Talk to you later. Good morning, sunshines, and goodbye.